ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stally111, and today I'm going to be playing Borderlands, and we're going to be fighting the Mothrak. And heads up, guys, if you are facing this and you are not, it says the recommended level is 21. At the stage when I was just about to fight it, I was 24, but I then went on to do another quest, and I just leveled up. But yes, I recommend you get to 24, 25. Because 21 is not a good stage for anyone who's inexperienced. Or even some experienced players would uh, find it a bit of a challenge. If you want to have an easy shot, make sure you're at least a one level below, not two or three. So anyway, I use my car as a little bit of an aid to get myself over to this building as past experience i do recommend you use it because his or hers the, the mothrak's fire attacks will really hurt you and i think it breaks my shield at some point maybe a couple of times but um i'm just i don't really have many tips for you just stay when you see fire you run Aim because it's flying and it's a very, very small target. I know it, the wings and stuff are big, but they don't damage it. You have to get the, the, the delicate, the small body. And for a, a someone of this caliber, he's a very difficult boss. Even for a experienced member, don't don't just let it slide. He will or she will. The Mothrak will destroy you if you're off guard so make sure you always go for crits so aim a little bit ahead of it and you will get it but sometimes it's it is very difficult to get critical so it's a flying very small target and there's not much you can do you're you're, go you're probably gonna lose um if you're inexperienced i do recommend you use a sniper but uh, if you've got a very accurate assault rifle or even a rocket launcher and you're good at predicting where the enemy i.e. in this situation Mothrak will be in the next couple of seconds experiment a little bit and get the back to me in the comments if there's anything that you think that people who are even more inexperienced as yourself or even me maybe you're a MLG pro but uh, I tell you, you can, there, there isn't any MLG in Borderlands I've checked Anyway, oh, hopefully they added, but just comment down below any of your tactics for this boss and also my past bosses and my bosses to come because there might be something I missed out that you think is a good way to go by it. So just try avoid all of these attacks. Make sure you've got a healing shield. I'm currently using King Wee Wee's uh, booster, super booster or something. It isn't my most biggest shield but even though it doesn't say in the description I recommend you use it because it does heal you faster than any other that I've seen it fasters it is fast it's at a normal regeneration and all the ones you're gonna get at this stage are either slow or very slow I don't think there's any I've seen at uh, the New Haven I'm at New Haven point of the game where uh, you've got better than normal so anyway Unless you're hacking, of course, which is uh, bullshit. You should be hacking. <laughs> it's not that difficult a game. Anywho, not really much else. Uh, just keep at it. Uh, runs and rerun. Keep on doing it. It may get feel a bit repetitive if you're a lower level, but um, if you feel you need to, and you're not your this is your first run through or something or you're not that good at the game you're not very experienced or something do just do a couple of side missions like um collect there's a couple of weapons missions you can get from Marcus and level up a bit maybe level up twice if you're inexperienced you get to 27 and you should be able to take him on easy or her on you'll be able to take the Mothrak on easy i felt like all these bosses are very like the first time you play this game it it feels so much more different than the second or third or for me I don't I think I'm on into the hundredth playthrough I love this game so much 
I'm going to give it a shot with uh, this assault rifle. But uh, unless you've got a very accurate assault rifle, I do not recommend it. Shotguns are a no-go, obviously, because uh, range is a factor. But pistols, if you've got like a revolver or, pist or a repeater pistol, go for it. Because they have, surprisingly enough, a half-decent amount of range. They're not the best, you, you cannot really snipe with them, but the revolvers, they, they will get a enemy across the map. Um, you may have to time it for if they're moving, even if they're just walking a couple of steps, you're going to have to time it well. So that's it down, make sure to pick up all the loot, and I want to thank you for watching. Uh, please drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already, and make sure to tell me your techniques. I do believe you got a shield from Mothrak. I'm not sure if it's a shield or a grenade mod. Anyway, peace off.